Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, hello, my name is Michelle. I'm a flight attendant for a major US airline based in San Francisco, California. I vlog about my trips and I do my best to take you guys with me. Today we are starting this vlog out in my home in Arizona. Um, my plan is to commute into San Francisco today, uh, but I was driving to the airport. My husband was driving me to the airport and I checked the status of my commuting flights. I actually had two options of flights to take on different airlines and when we were driving to the airport I saw that both of the flights were delayed by over two hours so my husband drove us back home so I could wait at home instead of waiting at the airport which was really nice of him um I am still planning on commuting up to the bay tonight though I don't have a trip yet for tomorrow um, but I do want to fly for about probably the next five days, so I'll try to either pick up a three-day then a two-day, or a two-day then a three-day, or a four-day then a one-day. I'm just trying to find a good, some good productive trips so I can get in my hours. I have been off for a, a little over a week, and it has been wonderful to be home, but I do think it is time to get back to work, so I'm excited to see what I can pick up. I do this. A lot where I commute up and then I pick up a trip or I try to um, pick something up last minute a lot of the times um, better trips will drop in last minute so I like to have my schedule as clear as possible so I can pick those up um, the trips that I get with my seniority um, in my base um, from the beginning of when our schedules come out are usually not the trips I end up flying. I do a lot of trading around so I can fly the trips that I want to fly. But that is it for now. I will talk to you guys later with hopefully a good update about my commute. Good morning everyone from the SFO parking lot. Um, it is 10, 11 a.m. My check-in is at 11 a.m. Um, I guess I need to give you an update. So yesterday in Phoenix, the flights just kept getting delayed for my commute. Um, I, yeah, I think it was a combination of an air traffic control delay. They're doing runway construction in San Francisco. So there are less ways for planes to get in and out, but still the same amount of planes. So um, it was a air traffic control delay as well as there was weather in San Francisco. There were um, rains and high winds. So I think that the combination between the two gave uh, a big delay for all the planes going into SFO. Thankfully, I made a flight. Um, the flight I was supposed to take uh, was going to take off at, f it was scheduled to take off at 4.54 p.m. It didn't take off until 8.30. So there was a big delay, but I'm so thankful I made it here. I did end up picking up a trip. I picked up Shanghai, which I'm very excited about. I have never been to Shanghai. I just went to China for the first time a couple vlogs ago. Beijing, if you have not watched that, I will put that up here. Um, so I'm really excited to go again. It's a new destination. It is a high time trip. It is over a 25 hour three day, which is a really good hour trip. Um, and I am excited. I, we are working the 777X, our biggest plane. I have worked this plane a, a lot <laughs> in the last couple months. I think it's like my most worked plane right now. Um, but I am a different position this time. I am working up in business class. I am B-Zone Galley. I'm excited. I haven't been, um, I haven't worked up in B-Zone in months. So I'm really excited to be in B-Zone. I'm a little bit nervous because as Galley, you have a lot more responsibilities and I've mentioned this before I just don't do it enough to I think like develop good routines and um but once I do it I remember how much I like it so I'm a little nervous but I'm also excited but I'm going to head into the airport um meet the crew get ready prep my galley I probably won't have time to check in with you because as galley like once I get in I'm just on it like I just have to go and prep everything so I'll check in with you when I can but for now I will see you guys when I see you guys
Hey everyone, we made it to Shanghai. It is 8.15 right now. I have to make this quick because at 8.30 I'm meeting um, a couple of my crew members downstairs to get some food. Um, so I'm gonna make this quick. I will give you a bigger update later. I'll give you a room tour later. This hotel is really nice. Um, but for now, we're just gonna change and then head out to get some food. I am so hungry and I'm also really tired. So I think it'll just be a pretty chill night of just like getting food and going to sleep. But I'll talk to you guys later. Okay, we are dressed, ready to go down and have a good dinner. Don't know what we're gonna eat yet. I think we're gonna go to the food court um, at the mall across the street. We'll see. Hey everyone, I'm back in the room. It is kind of late. It is after midnight, um, but it has been such a good layover so far. Tonight was awesome. I feel really lucky. There are two um, other junior people in this crew. We're the most junior by far, and they have they are roommates and friends, and they were classmates in training, and they have just been so sweet and in, like inclusive and inviting me to hang out with them. They asked me like, "Are you gonna hang out with us?" And I was like if I'm invited <laughs> and they were like of course and they've just been really really lovely and I feel really lucky that they are letting me tag along with them one of the girls she is working back galley but she is a Mandarin speaker and she um was born and raised for part of her life in China and so she has been really helpful for just translating and getting us around so I'm so thankful it's so nice to have her there to help us um but today was so great we just went to a food court I got these, um, we got like this soup with noodles and then I didn't film this because I scarfed them down, but they're pan fried soup dumplings. They were so, so, so good. Um, and it was so cheap. Like that meal was like $4 or something and it filled me up. And then I got this amazing boba for um, less than $3. And I was like, oh my God, I'm so glad I don't live like across the street from here. Otherwise I would be getting this boba every single day. But then after that, we walked around the mall for a little bit and then we went to walk to a massage place. Um, the massages here in China are pretty inexpensive. So we did a full body massage and then like an ear like cleaning they had like special tools to help just clean out your ears so we did that and it was so fun i feel so relaxed um i just have loved the layover so far and it's only been the night um, but we've made the most of it so far tomorrow our pickup is not until 8 45 i think so we have pretty much the whole day tomorrow 8 45 p.m so we have pretty much the whole day tomorrow um and we are going to go out and do a lot the plan is right now to go to sleep and then wake up um and meet some of the crew down for breakfast at the hotel at 9 a.m so i'm gonna go to bed do that and then we're gonna head out after that so that's it for now oh wait i'm gonna give you the hotel room tour Okay, first we're gonna lock the door. Okay, so you come in, you have this nice walkway with these huge mirrors. And then on your left, I have the bathroom. We have a separate toilet room right here, which is honestly pretty large. And then this is so pretty. 
but it is the shower. You have the waterfall shower, the regular shower. You have a mirror in the shower, <laughs> and then the bathtub right there. Love that. Here's the sink area, and then the closet's kind of cool. It opens up from both sides. So you can access it from both sides. Oh, and we have some slippers down there. What's in here? I didn't open this yet. Oh, okay, so storage, 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 a safe. And then here is the room, rest of the room. Ready to put my luggage there. And then we have a little coffee station, a fridge, which we love. It's pretty spacious, which I really like. Let's open this thing. I haven't opened this yet. More storage. <laughs> and I really appreciate, I have an international adapter, but I like it when these ones are also just, um, what's the word? Just like universal plugs. I haven't even checked out my view yet, but we have beautiful large windows. I'll show you in the morning, but this is the view for now. Okay, that is all for the night. I will talk to you all in the morning. Good morning, everyone. This view is absolutely beautiful. Uh, when I looked at it last night, I did not think it was going to be this good. Um, it is 8.30 a.m. I'm just going to get ready and meet the crew for breakfast at 9. Um, I heard this breakfast buffet is really, really good at this hotel. Um, so I'm excited about that. And yeah, let's see. I didn't sleep super well. I mean, I slept okay. I just woke up early because of the jet lag. I woke up at like 6 a.m. Um, and I have just been um, watching YouTube videos and chatting with friends and stuff like that ever since. But um, it looks like a really, really nice day. I think it's cold. I think the weather is like in the 40s with a little bit of wind, but it does look like a really nice day. Um, let's just get changed and get ready to go. I really cannot get over how cool this view is though. Oh my god. Oh, you can see the skyline over there. Oh my god, it's so pretty. Okay, we are jazzed. We are ready to head down for breakfast. Let's see what this day has in store. I went to meet some of the crew down for breakfast at the breakfast buffet at the hotel. It was an amazing breakfast buffet. There were so many different options and it was delicious. Then we took the subway from our hotel to the markets at the Science and Tech Center. Um, the markets in China are pretty crazy. There is everything you could ever imagine and there are so many shops. We walked around and we just explored some of the shops. Some of my crew were shopping for different things. I wasn't going to shop for anything. I just kind of wanted to experience it and see what they have. But there was so much. It was crazy. There was this one shop that had a bunch of different business cards from different airline employees and airline crew that had shopped there over the years and I thought that was kind of cool. They definitely catered towards their tours and their airline crews. It was such a cool experience though, a little overwhelming, but honestly it was super cool. Then we took the subway back to the hotel and went back up to the room. Okay, took a quick pit stop back at the room just to drop off some stuff. Um, we went shopping. I didn't buy anything. I just didn't really need anything. Um, but I went with my crew members to watch them um, shop and bargain around. But now we are going to go find a place to get our nails done. We are just doing all the things here in Shanghai.
Hey everyone, it's 7.30 right now. We were out literally the entire day. It was so much fun. After I last checked in with you, I got my nails done. I um, walked around the mall. We walked around the neighborhood a little bit and then we got food. We did some grocery shopping. We did a lot, um, but I have to start getting ready now. My pickup is in a little bit over an hour and I have to pack, then take a quick body shower, do all the things, and then we will work a flight back home. Okay, it is 8.31. It's time to head down for my 8.45 p.m. pickup. Um, we're going back to the airport and working around, it's probably a 10 and a half hour flight back to San Francisco. Um, uh, we are still on the 777-300. I am working in B-Zone and they're not full in the back, but we'll be full up in business class. Um, and yeah, should be a good flight back, I hope. Um, I have just like enjoyed this layover so much. It was such a good time for my first time in Shanghai. I'm so glad that I got this trip. I'm so thankful for my crew members that let me tag along with them. It was just such a fun day with them. We were really out the whole day and we did so much and I'm just so thankful. Um, especially the girl who spoke Mandarin was just so sweet and translating everything for us. Um, but before I head down, I'm gonna show you what I bought for food on the plane. It looks so good um, and it's just something I'm gonna eat on the flight home. Okay, so these are pan fried soup dumplings. I got two. Um, it's just basically the same thing, but one is filled with vegetables, one's filled with pork, and then a side of broccoli. This was less than five dollars. That is insane. And then they gave me this cute little bag to take it in. Okay, one final check of the room. Make sure I got everything. Let's go home. Okay, I am back in the bay. Um, today is actually the next day and I wanted to close out this video here. I was absolutely exhausted when I got back last night. Um, I think it was just a mix between, you know, working the long flights, but also just being out and doing so much on our layover. I had so much fun, truly no regrets. Love going to a new place, love exploring a new place. It was so much fun. And the flight back was honestly easy. It was only 10 and a half hours, which went by pretty fast. I was able to sleep on crew breaks, which was awesome. We got in about half an hour early, and because it was a night flight, people slept pretty much the whole time, so the workload was pretty chill. Um, but I was so tired still. I slept in so late today, um, but I really hope you enjoyed this vlog and this layover as much as I did. I truly had so much fun. Please give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and subscribe if you would like. Um, you can also follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is dear underscore Michelle. I will have it in my bio and written out down here. I do post on Instagram more real time. So if you want to see kind of the daily what I'm doing, follow me there. That is it for this vlog. I will talk to you in my next one.